We're saying goodbye. <laughs> Just so y'all remember, I cry really easy and I spend 24 hours a day, seven days a week with Kurt. He's going to be gone for eight days. She's afraid she's going to starve, guys. <laughs> I am going to have to cook for myself, but that's okay. The van will stay a lot cleaner. All right, Kurt's leaving me here at the campground. I'm uh, in a very safe place. He's going to have a good time and y'all are going with him. You're going with me, guys. Bye. See you later, hon. Alright, guys. Sorry about the sappy goodbye, but we don't split ways too often. It's still dark outside. We're in the driver's seats. After we left you yesterday afternoon, we made gigantic decisions last night. We are still headed to Buenos Aires, but not to go there to buy a computer. All the price shopping and research we did online, we were literally going to be playing double for a computer that is not quite as good as the one we have now. And the ones we have now barely work. So Kurt is going to get on an airplane and fly home to visit his family, which is super exciting. Because if you back up to last fall when we went home to see family, I got really sick, ended up in the hospital, took away all of his visiting time with his family. This is a really good opportunity for him to go see his mom and dad. He's gonna come back with a new computer, a few parts we need for the van, hopefully. And we haven't even told you that my phone has been on the fritz and has just really been working like half the time. So I'm getting a new phone. So Kurt is going home to visit his family and do some shopping. Woo! Whirlwind decisions. Yeah. Things in our life can change like that and change in a major way. And so I'm pretty excited to go home and see mom and dad. Yeah, yep. All right, I got my tickets in hand. I am at the airport. Got a couple of hours before I fly. I am going to walk past the McDonald's. I am not stopping there, guys. You should be proud of me. And I'm not even gonna stop at the Outback Steakhouse. Let's get through security and see what's up. White eyes, big chains, made from all them memories. I only want to make you proud. Break my fall before I land and hold my heart here in your hands. Promise you'll always be around. When the sea, when the sea covers me, covers me, pull me out. When I'm a wind in the clouds, catch me on my way back down. Family, this is my family. Sunshine, dark days, blue sky. So I'm at the airport in Houston and you know I had to go through customs and then I had to pick up my bag and then I don't know I go through multiple levels of security but anyway it was always nice to hear them say welcome home sir and it is good to be home I gotta be honest but as we were getting on the train trying to go to our gate there was a couple people from Argentina who didn't speak English who were struggling to find their gate and where they were going. So with my little bit of Spanish, I was proud to say I was able to help them. One of them was a little old lady. She was sweet and she was struggling. So it felt really good to be able to help out. And also there was another agent there who was very helpful and uh, yeah, it was just really rewarding to see the kindness. So, and it was awesome to be part of it. So this is good news, our planes here at the gate, little small plane gate 81. Looks like it's been raining in the overnight, looks like it's stopped, there's water all over the runway. But guys, it is exciting to be back home. I'm gonna make it home for Mother's Day, which is really cool. 
And the thing of it is, is two days ago, two days ago, there was no plans on coming back to the USA. There was none of this was in the works. This has all been in the blink of an eye. Everything changed. We drove, I don't know, 15, 16 hours from Mendoza all the way to Buenos Aires. And I uh, had to rush to pack and get the van ready and, and get snow tucked away so I could jump on a plane and be back here. And uh, I'm excited to see my family. It's important. All right, let the sticker shock begin. So see this little McMuffin with, I don't even know if it's a real egg, a couple little slices of bacon, maybe a little bit of cheese, $7.39. And then let me come over here and I'll show you another sandwich. So these sandwiches, this breakfast sandwich here on top looks pretty nice. The bacon, egg, and cheese, $14, guys. Those of you who are watching us from the U.S., you probably already know that. But those prices are astronomical for Snow and myself. We're used to paying maybe a quarter of that, maybe a half for similar food. Hey, babe. Well, after about a two hour flight delay. Same love, same name, same blood running through our veins. Could fill up an empty heart with pride. When the sea, when the sea. Birthday. Yeah, I gotta get her back. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Happy Mother's, Mother's, Mother's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you what. All right, Santa Claus came, <laughs> hanging out with mom and dad. And, well, these are not mom's presents, even though it's Mother's Day. <laughs> but let's see what we got. All right, so by now, you know, I had big problems with my computer. And so I, there's some little screws back there on the back that I have to take off. So I think it's going to be this one right here to take the cover off so I can get to the battery. So fingers crossed the battery replacement is going to work. We'll see. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys, my brother showed up. This next bit, at least to us, is truly amazing and I want to share it with you. But it requires a bit of a backstory, so bear with me. For those of you who already know, back in Chile, back about six weeks ago, maybe a couple months ago, not sure the exact time frame, our alternator died. And we fortunately found this electrical engineer who worked magic and was able to work around a rusty connection, find a piece to kind of make the alternator work, bypass our uh, current Balmer regulator, and it did some magical stuff to make it work for now, but it's a short-term fix. And we were really dead in the water without that extra source of charging our batteries and so fortunately we were able to get up and running and get on the road again and the video came out a lot of you saw it but that's the backstory now what happened is when I got home I really wanted to try to get some spare parts to get that regulator back up and working so I called Adam Nations at Nations Alternator where I originally got the alternator from Adam installed it his guys installed it amazing family Matt the dad the whole thing shops nice awesome people but I called Adam and said hey Adam I got a situation my alternator wasn't working this do framer this regulator on my alternator needs he says I got it Kurt he said 
we saw the video and he said we were really we we really knew you guys were shook up over the deal and he said I feel really bad that we couldn't have done more for you at the time obviously we couldn't get anything shipped in Chile and so that wasn't an option back then but in any event Adam went on to say this is what you need he said I looked at the alternator and he said I can see you've got a lot of you know water or whatever probably from like when we got stuck and all the other times we beat this van up we you know we got some weather up on the alternator and he says we need to do some stuff and he started rattling all off all this these things we needed for the alter, alternator and I, I said Adam he said look you know unfortunately we don't have a lot of money and you know we can't get everything what do we need just to get up and running and he he said Kurt we we got this he said I'm gonna give you everything you need I'm gonna ship it to you I'm gonna get it to you before you have to go back he said we've been following your videos we love your journey you guys have inspired a lot of people and he said we want to be on the journey with you he said this is on us and I I'll be honest with you <laughs> I kind of got choked up because um, this is expensive gear, guys, and it's it's something that, with all the other hits we've taken, anyway. Uh, thank you, Adam. It amazing what it meant. I called Snow, and Snow got teared up. We just really appreciative that Adam sent us an alternator, a new regulator, stuff to kind of rebuild the old alternator and so we should be good to go we just need to find somebody to install it when we get back in the van and we'll be off and running so if you guys are thinking about converting a van i highly recommend going with a second alternator especially if you need to char charge or power lithium batteries or a bigger battery pack um yeah this these all these high powered alternators are just the way to go and Adam at Nations has got as far as I'm concerned the best and the best customer service so give those guys a call this is not a sponsored video but our, we are really appreciative to those guys and we just wanted to give this shout out so thanks Adam so I got the new battery and i am got to take the cover off that's Phillips and I think I got to take those off I got to take the cover off to get to the battery to see if it's going to fit. So my fingers are crossed. Looks like I have to unplug it right here. Look at all this grime and dust in my fans cat hair Woo these things need to be cleaning look at that that came out of the computer all right couple things first off if you can see these fans right here they are just caked with dust these are the cooling fans and these air vents were full of dust as well but let's stay on track, get this battery out, see if it works, and then I think we're going to try to clean this thing up. Alright, the new battery is in. This is the moment of truth. I thought I'd pop in for just a minute and let you guys know what's going on here in Argentina while Kurt is home in Oklahoma. We have stuck close to the camp. In fact, we haven't left. It's been six days. We've been cooking our own meals, old basics left over from college, because I can cook a little bit, but it is not near as good as when Kurt does it. Uh, but giving the kitties walk, even G-Money, which I don't normally do, because he's a little rambunctious, but we're making do. It's a really nice camp, great grassy areas to walk the kitties. Uh, easy to fill up the water tank if I need to. The shower's nice and hot and the family that owns this place is really really amazing and they're located perfectly for if you're trying to come to the city for a flight in and out. This is a really good place to 
park your van and stay while you're getting all that stuff done. And they'll even drop you off and pick you up at the airport. So we're doing all right. We're hanging in there. We're editing videos. We're working on logistics for getting everything lined up to ship the van to Europe. Which if you missed our last video, you don't know that that's our next continent. We told you guys that. And we're super excited, but it's a lot of work. So it's actually kind of good that we stopped and I was able to just work and focus on, on that kind of stuff for a week. So nothing exciting here. I am so happy Kurt's getting to spend some quality time with his family. That's important. And uh, once things settle down, I'll find time for a trip home for some quality time with my family too. So that's what's going on here. We're just missing Kurt like crazy. Can't wait for him to get back. And uh, then next, guys, we head down to the city, to Buenos Aires, because it is time for my six-month cardio checkups. I'll be getting detailed lab work, an echocardiogram, an exercise stress test, appointments with my defibrillator doctor and my heart doctor. It's going to be a busy few days. <laughs> the kitties are rambunctious and playing. All right, guys, signing out from here in the camp. We'll see you all when Kurt gets back. All right, we're in here making a little jambalaya, a little shrimp boil. We got some corn, some sausage, some onions, Old Bay, and a bunch of other seasonings over here. We got some shrimp. We have some nice scallops to go in there. And Mama's making some corn muffins. We're going to have us a, a feast today. We have a big game happening right now. I will tell you, me and my mom have been locking horns in Scrabble for years. And we're playing presidential Scrabble, so I haven't really played this. Mom's got hometown rules. Plus, she's been, since she knew I was coming, she's oh, been yeah. practicing on <laughs> words with friends. Anyway, the series is deadlocked two to two. This is the championship, and she's in the Scrabble Dictionary, practicing up before we get started. <laughs> All right, for the record, Mom has drawn the lowest tile, which means she's going first. This is dramatic. And Dad's in the kitchen eating beans. I jumped off to an early lead, however, you can see the predicament I have right now. Here we go. Well, it's been an intense game, guys, but about midway through, I blew it open. It's been a tough one. She's been trying to hang in here, but um, <laughs> just didn't happen. So, I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> I won the championship game last night in Scrabble. Oh, Lord. After, I did, well, afterwards. That was not a championship. We played another one. That took away that championship. After we played the championship and I was the grand prize winner, we did play an exhibition game, and Mom won to tie up the overall score 3-3. So, Mom, do you have anything to add to that? Or you feel comfortable <laughs> with that summation? Whatever. Whatever you want to claim, Curtis, you claim. <laughs> I, I, I let her know that I'm the editor, so this is going to turn out however I, I decide anyway. So, <laughs> After an exhaustive search for a new computer, I found one online, and it should be delivered by Friday. I leave on Saturday. Let's go into Walmart and check out the U.S.'s number one retail store. Of course, it's spring here, fixing to turn summer, so everybody's planting all their plants and stuff like that. But the nursery, their garden right here, does look pretty good. A lot of nice flowers, shrubs. Looks pretty cool. And then over here is all the gardening stuff, and a lot of gardens are starting to pop up. All right, a couple things we're always chasing. Sawdust. And here, this is something we used to have to buy sometime because we'd have a hard time finding it here in the States. That big bag is about 10 bucks. We get that a lot of times for free, two, three dollars. I don't think we've ever paid more than maybe two or three dollars for a bag like that. But something else we're always looking for is litter and cat food. 
And so if we come down here. So these are 78 cents right here, these friskies. We buy similar to that, 78 cents. I think we probably pay anywhere from a dollar to two dollars for these cans. So cat food is definitely cheaper here. It looks like the litter runs about six, seventeen dollars for a box. I think that's probably pretty much in line with what we pay. And this is a first. I had to come in the store and buy Snow's makeup to take back. So I didn't know where any of the stuff was. So my first time in the makeup department, fortunately I had some cool people here to help me. And they were from Mexico and the little girl spoke Spanish and English. The mama only spoke Spanish. Anyways, I was saying those cool people helped me out. So in the meat department, it looks like hamburgers about five to six dollars a pound. I haven't seen any steaks that are less than $10 a pound. Then we get down here to the pork section. Looks like that's about $3.50 a pound. And so I'll kind of put down $6.43 for, oh no, that's $12 for some brats, $5 for a six pack. So I'll put right here on the screen about what we pay in other countries here's some chicken you can see this is I think this is uh, boneless skinless this is six dollars almost seven dollars a pound so ten ten bucks for two breasts wow I feel like that's pretty pricey I buy a lot of onions they're about a dollar thirty eight a pound dollar twenty for the red onions garlic these cloves I buy a lot of these it looks like that's about five dollars a pound 465 out of Kados. I don't know if they have a buy a pound rate it's about looks 235 each for each of those and then bananas over here they're about 58 cents a pound we buy a lot of those limes and lemons it looks like they're 50 cents each so but as you can see, potatoes dollar a pound. But you can see there is a full selection of produce, peppers, cucumbers, everything. Oranges, lemons, strawberries, blueberries, grapes. And uh, oh, blueberries are something we buy. So it's $3 for a pack of blueberries. I feel like that's comparable, but these are big ripe blueberries. And I will have to say, the selection and the quality here is top-notch. Broccoli, 224 Asparagus, $2.98. Okay, peppers are about $1.50 a piece. I feel like that's fairly normal. So we talk about variety, for example. A lot of times, maybe we'll see one squash, especially now that it's a fall. We have three selections of squash here. We got big, fat, sweet potatoes, baking potatoes, red potatoes, baby potatoes, I don't know, medium potatoes, all sorts of bags of sweet potatoes. Typically, what we see is more like maybe one or two selections of some of those things, or maybe even none. Peanut butter is something that we don't find all over down there. You can find it some countries in, in Latin America. However, maybe if it's a store that has somewhat of an American brand, I think it's American anyway, like Jif or something like that, crunchy. But look at all these selections of different peanut butters and nut butters and honeys and marmalades, which jellies are actually quite common, but the peanut butters not so much so i gotta get a big jar of crunchy peanut butter to take back to the van all right and this is one of my favorite stores right here home depot so i definitely need a couple little things for the van that i can't get elsewhere or it's hard to find all right snow's definitely gonna be jealous we're heading into the krispy kreme the only thing is the red light is not on, which means they're not hot and fresh, but they're still going to be yummy. 
<laughs> Woo -hoo, what are you getting, Dad? I don't know. Uh, what are you getting? It really is a great time just riding around with my parents. I really enjoyed my time with him. I was able to go to multiple different stores. You guys will probably notice they're most of the most popular stores that we have in the U.S. I was able to pick up some clothes, some food items, some items for the van, some other miscellaneous items, and just kind of shop around and compare prices and sort of it was kind of a nostalgic trip to be honest with you but the most important time was just riding around and spending some quality time with my parents i really really enjoyed the day so he's got some yellow squash some potatoes looks like he's got some spinach i don't know i think those are some okra maybe i'm not sure maybe different kinds of squash he's got some sugar snap peas some tomatoes some little bell peppers, some strawberries, some green onions, more strawberries, sugar snap peas, all this stuff. But it was raining all week. Nice garden. <laughs> it was raining all week. And this stuff is blowing up. Yeah. Are you sweating? Well, we're bummed out here in the van. The computers did not show up in time for Kurt to catch his plane today. He just had to call United and change his plane till tomorrow. So instead of seeing him on Sunday morning, which would have been in the morning, we will see him on Monday. And what makes that even worse, guys, is Monday is when all of my doctor's appointments start and I have to be at the lab at Hospital Italiano uh, at Hospital Italiano in the city at 7:45 in the morning. And then I go straight from there to my echocardiogram and straight from there to my exercise stress test. Uh, so we probably won't see Kurt until late in the afternoon on Monday. But the guy that runs this camp has come through big time for us. He's going to take me all the way into the city. And then on his way back in, he's going to pick Kurt up at the airport so Kurt can come here to the van. It's a lot, guys. We knew it was a chance of it happening this morning, but when it actually happened, we're bummed. The kitties seem to feel it, so we're going to make some chicken salad and uh, maybe find a movie to watch on the computer. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!